you have any kids? I have two boys. Two boys. How old are your boys? Uh, seven and four weeks. Seven and four weeks. Four weeks? My ex-boyfriend filmed me with two other men. <laughs> when it's two guys in at the same time. And men jump on there and they take it as an opportunity to be like, see, and I'm sure you probably met plenty of men in your 20s, plenty of men in your 30s you could have settled down and had kids for, uh, but no. Hey guys, welcome back to More to Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. Let's hop right into this. Hi, my name is Avia. Avia? Yes. Avia, where are you calling me from? I'm calling you from Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. How old are you? I'm 36. 36? What you do for a living? I'm a claims adjuster for an insurance company. Claims adjuster? Okay. Do you have any kids? I have two boys. Two boys. How old are your boys? Uh, seven and four weeks. Seven and four weeks. Four weeks? I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Four weeks. Girl, you didn't have sex yet. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> what the hell you looking? Your ain't even healed. Close. Yeah, what the hell you looking for? A new in your butt. Yet. I'm not looking for penis. I'm looking for a husband. <laughs> well, the husband. Why are you married to the man you had a baby with four weeks ago? That was my plan, but that wasn't his plan. So something ain't right. But when did you realize are. it wasn't his plan? I'm sorry. Say that again. When did you realize it wasn't his plan? Uh, um, after he broke up with me. When did he break before the baby was born? You? October. When? when the baby was born. Before the baby was born. He broke up with you while you were pregnant? While I was pregnant, yes. What the hell was the reason? <laughs> you didn't have an ass? Yep. This is the perfect example of choose better. Guess it's just as good as mine. I didn't ask. Uh, just the excuse was enough for me. What so. was the excuse? Uh, he said that I didn't meet his standards. Um, he didn't see himself with me for a long period of time, and he didn't want to be married. Almost so eight, eight months. months pregnant. Eight months pregnant. He came to you and said, "I don't want to be." In Did he move out? No. no. I mean, shoot, we were still living together. How we were still break living up together. With a pregnant girl that you're living with while she's eight months pregnant. Your guess is just as good as mine. Now we're gonna continue, but you do have to answer this because there's gonna be men that are going to feel like, like I said, you know, technically they say you can't have sex until six weeks after you have a baby. So you are not even in the You're heal yet. So with that being said. This is sad. Now, why would you even think about going on Kendra? And she's right. Your, your joint is not healed. How is a man supposed to take you serious? You're not taking yourself serious. And then she pointed it out, too. Some guys probably wouldn't think about it, but a lot of guys would. What are you thinking? What do you say to the man that is concerned that you just had a baby four weeks ago? Concern? I mean, don't be concerned. Because, I mean, it's not, to me, it's not always about sex. I mean, you know. Well, honey, I think, I think <laughs> some women got to get this. You can't understand how having a baby four weeks ago could be to a guy. Like, that could be a big thing. Would you date a guy that had a baby four weeks ago? It depends on the situation. It definitely depends on the situation. Um, I mean, if it was like mine, yeah, absolutely. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was in with someone? Oh, it was probably somewhere in November. And was it your child's father? Yes. Yes, so it broke was. Yeah, broke it out October, and then I had in November? We did only because I say it was around November only because we were trying to get my water to break. That's a white lie. That's a white lie. That was the only reason. But after that, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's a lie. <laughs> so he broke up with you, said all these things. 
I can't see, I don't see a future with you. And then y'all come together in November to have to induce you? Yeah, we, we were still in the same household, so yeah. So when did, when did, when did y'all move out? When did you move I, out? I moved out, this was like a week and a half after my son was born. So you moved out three weeks mm -hmm. ago? Mm-hmm. So you just left the house? Yeah. So y'all broke up last October. You had last time in November. You had your son in December, and you just moved out three weeks ago. Yep. Girl. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> She's stuck. I say this with all the love I can muster in my soul. Take some time and be a mom. You got to get some stuff together. You just moved into a new place. I, I mean, listen, you can do what you want to do, but I truly believe in single seasons. Single seasons are moments in my life when I chose not to date because I had to get my shit together for whatever reason, right? And everybody's shit together is a different thing. I'm not saying you don't have your shit together, but you are a new mom. You just broke up. You just left the baby daddy three weeks ago. You know, you have a four-week-old child. You, you, you still have to deal with this man in some manner. It's all so new. Does the first one pay child support? No. no. Why not? He's in prison. Damn! Oh, child, Avia. <laughs> But here's the thing, I wanted to be married, Girl, but you're not, so I wouldn't have. You're not saying you're not doing anything <laughs> to be a wife. You're not doing, you're, you're not doing it right to go about me. I'm just going to give it to you real raw and with love. Real raw and love. Not to be hurtful, but mm -hmm. if you want to be a wife, you got to move like a wife. You're not moving like a wife right now, sweetheart. I receive it. It's not even, you have to move like a wife, but she does. But still, obviously you can see. She's picking Pookie, Ray Ray, and Tyrone. And she hasn't stopped doing that. Look outside of your community, right? Be nice. Be called you. Get with a guy that has a regular job. And then you may have some luck. But let me go on to the next video. No, actually, my ex-boyfriend filmed this one. My ex-boyfriend filmed me with two other men. <laughs> He's a saint. Drew is a saint. I love him so much. And it's just be So this woman, I'm guessing, is a corn star. Corn. And her ex-boyfriend. And she still has boyfriends? This is interesting. Because he gets the best angles. Like, he just has an eye for it. And I've tried so many other camera guys. I usually do POV. But there's just certain angles you can't get when it's POV. Especially when it's two guys in at the same time. So Drew killed it, and I think it's honestly my best video ever. Like, I'm not even kidding. I've been playing around with a higher production value. I'm done. That's it. I'm out. Lately, not in terms of, like, making it sleeker, because I really like an amateur, grainier, homemade look, but booking the location and making sure the outfits all fit a very specific... So, as you guys are seeing, right, she takes it serious. She wanted to be a... You can tell she wanted to be a corn star her life. Um, she seems like she's making her own movies. You know, she's handling it like a business. This is a little different. But still, it's horrible. I'm not saying it's good. And she's talking about like there's nothing. Oh, my, my ex and... It's sick. Sickening. Image that I have for the shoot. Like this one was an old Victorian house with me in a really bedazzled, jeweled, agent provocateur set. Corn. And um, Drew killed it. That's a problem. I'm not a feminist. I stay at home and I cook and I clean and I make the home an abundant place for my family. Absolutely. Love it. You deserve to be paid. Love? No, you didn't hear me. I said I don't want to work. I don't want to be a breadwinner like my husband. I heard that I don't want to work either. It doesn't bring me joy or fulfillment. I thought you were a feminist. I am. You're supposed to hate me, I think. No, I don't. That's a big part of feminism is choosing what you want to do. As long as it works for you and your partner. And being a stay-at-home mom is hard, unrecognized, unpaid labor. More power to you. Huh. Well, in that case, let me tell you about all the ways that I submit to my husband. No. 
<laughs> Word. That's exactly how the conversation would go, but that was funny, man. Feminists won't be able to handle it. Let me go to the next video. So this says, it's impossible for women after 40 to find a boyfriend. I have no children. I cook delicious food and have a big house. Am I really that bad? Now, of course, you know, I already, I already seen this video, but you already know men. I'm going to say it too. And I can tell by her face. She was gorgeous. She was, right? Bear with me, guys. She was gorgeous. So guys are going to say, you should have chosen better. You should have, and right, look at her. She probably could get any guy she wanted, but she can't now because she's too old. She wasted her time. But let's see what this next lady says. It never fails. A woman comes on the internet being vulnerable, being relatable, expressing how she feels to other women. And men jump on there and they take it as an opportunity to be like, see, and I'm sure you probably met plenty of men in your 20s, plenty of men in your 30s who you could have settled down and had kids for, uh, but no, you thought you were too good for them and this and that. Like, lonely doesn't mean desperate. So you can dump out that trash bag full of clothes because you're not bringing them to her house. Now, do you see? This woman is hardcore feminist. We're not talking about you, lady. We're talking about her. Guys can tell you she was it before. She, and she waited till she wasn't it. Not every woman who is lonely is willing to settle for you. Don't let her tears on the internet fool you into thinking that she's probably thinking, I should have settled long ago. Like some women don't want to settle. She might be lonely in the moment, but she still would rather choose this life. It, don't act like single women are the only ones who are in tears. I'm sure there are married women who are also crying themselves to sleep every night because they re married a raggedy man they met in their 20s, the raggedy man they met in their 30s. Some of these men want you to settle because they are the men they want you to settle for. So of course you're going to be like, see, I'm sure you met, they they're the raggedy men they speak of. <laughs> So her comment said things like, but at least you enjoyed your 20s when you didn't need no man. You missed the train, get a cat. Don't worry, it gets worse. Getting a man is not difficult. It's getting a decent man that sometimes is an issue. People think the worst thing in the world is being alone, but it actually it's not. It's being with someone that makes you feel alone. So for all the men out there that are really worried about her, for some reason, I think she'll be fine. I think she pulls her car up every day to the house that she owns and she pays for herself. She now, I get what she's trying to say. But in that video, she was crying and looked miserable. And she's saying, I'm sure she'll be fine. Not every woman, I'm gonna stop it right there. Not every woman is strong, independent woman like you. She's 40, she's tired, she's exhausted. She doesn't wanna fight any longer. You still want her to fight. Not everyone wants to be you. Let me go on to the next video. Eric Spolscher just became the richest coach in NBA history with his $120 million deal, which is much deserved, I might add, but nothing gets past NBA fans. Fans were like, wait a minute, this deal came right after the conclusion of the divorce proceedings between Eric Spolstra and his ex-wife. So this gives the appearance that the Miami Heat and President Pat Riley waited until after the divorce was finalized to give him this deal so that he didn't have to split the money with his ex-wife. But no, man, I could have met now. A lot of guys seen Pat Riley. Doesn't Pat Riley come across like that cool uncle? You know, that always gives you the best advice. That's, that's a pimp on the side, right? With his little suits he always wears. He said, I'm sure that he's, Eric talked to him, said, look, man, you know, I'm going through, oh, I understand, I get it, I get it. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on it. Real smooth, like. Nikki Spolstra was not here for any of the trolls and she clapped back. She replied to a hate comment on her Instagram story saying, way to fumble the bag. And basically was like, women can't win. I'm damned if I do, I'm damned if I don't. I've been getting harassed for years and encourage people to be kinder. So whether Spo got divorced before he got the bag or not, Nikki seems happy and successful in her own right. Of course. Look, even say Spo she was getting paid two million a year before that, right? She still got the bag. She's right. I'm happy she said that. What did she have to be greedy for? Like, oh, I could have gotten more. Look, <sighs> like, come on now.
But if it is true that Pat Riley waited until Eric Spolster was done with his divorce to give him the biggest bag in coaching history, that's kind of real. I can't lie. It is. And that's what happened. <laughs> and that was so G. I'm so proud of him, brothers, man. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And you know, it's definitely more to life than going through that.